What's going on, guys? Bruce here with Bullish Currency, and here we are with our first Bitcoin update, Bitcoin video, whatever you want to call it, guys. Bitcoin definitely a major, the made the most major player uh, when it comes to these spaces. So we're gonna get into some chart analysis, as always, some basic analysis, uh, and what I overall think of Bitcoin, what direction I think it's gonna be going, or feel like it's gonna be going. Uh, before we get into all that, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can get every single update on time. And as always, everything I share here in these videos on this channel is for only entertainment and education. It is not financial advice, but you may do whatever you want to do. You're your own person. Just make sure you do your own due diligence. Be smart. Be safe out there in these crazy crypto spaces, but there's definitely profits to be made. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So Bitcoin, as you can see, We've been on a bit of a decline, been, been pretty bearish. Um, you know, with the with the bullish currency community, I've been calling, you know, Bitcoin to go bearish since the last all-time high it created. Right when it created that new, that uh, last new all-time high, um, the way that weekly candle and a couple of daily candles closed in that area, we'll, we'll look at it in a second, I wasn't convinced. And I kind of felt like uh, we were going to enter into a, a little bit of a bear market. And I honestly thought we were, we were going to be crashing. You know, Robert Kiyosaki also said he felt like I, it could happen in October. Obviously, it didn't really start uh, happening in October. It took longer than that. But it started to actually go bearish not too long after October. So we're going to take a look at something, a couple of things. So let's first to see what's going on in the news. As you can see with the numbers, a little bit of red here. But, you know, for the 24-hour volume, pretty solid, 175%, right, on the green side. So you can see seven hour gold Bitcoin fear and greed index has dipped to lows not seen since July. Following the Bitcoin crash to 42K, they're calling it a crash already. Look at the words that are being used. The fear and greed index has declined to extreme fear values not seen since July of last year. Okay. So think about that. Extreme fear. Okay, why Bitcoin could frustrate bulls and bears in 2022. Bitcoin has been on a downtrend for the past few days, recording 1.0% loss in 24 hours and a 10.5% correction in seven days. The benchmark crypto seems to be re reacting to macroeconomic factors that could see further downside and short term related, blah, blah, blah. Right? So it's, it seems to be reacting to macro, macroeconomic factors. So it's it's behaving like, like the way, you know, other things behave during these moments of crash of, 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 a, of a market crash, which is long overdue. It's been, you know, Ray Dalio's talking about it. All these people are talking about it. So I guess Bitcoin just goes with it, you know. Um, here we go. Let's see what it says down here. No, that's pretty much it. So overall, we know what's going on here. We know what, what happens when there's extreme free fear or just fear, a lot of fear in general. Let's take a look at the holders for the heck of it. Okay, so wow, 40, you know, 40 million. And that's kind of where it's been steady at. So nothing too exciting over there. Let's take a look at the chart. I want to show you something that really convinced me more that we're going to be uh, bearish. So this is a nice trade. Uh, we snipered, you know, um, over here in the bulls currency community. As you can see, the risk, very small compared to reward. And um, it's a steep drop. So let's go ahead and take a look at, I want to show you the weekly, okay? It came and uh, made a new high. Now, when it made a new high over here, I wasn't convinced because it only barely made a new high. It wasn't like a big, you know, crazy difference from the last new, from the last all-time high. And I saw how the candle started to close in this area with long wicks on the top of it. Then eventually we saw this big old bearish engulfing. And immediately we started to form divergence in this area. So now this was starting to form a, a cell area and that's kind of what happened since then. But here, look closely. Right here, we have a head and shoulders. Head and shoulders, this is the right shoulder, confirms bearish, bearish, uh, you know, potential bearish movement. And this is what I saw in advance. I already saw all this happening in advance. And there was also patterns up here, I believe, if we went on to the daily, like I said earlier, we can look at the daily chart um yeah so here we go on the daily 
we start to form patterns right here. You get a nice uh, sideways slanted looking M pattern, right? And as you can see, it broke through this area and started to collapse more down to 42K. All the way from 67, that's not just a regular small drop. That's why you see a lot of crypto struggling to go bullish right now because Bitcoin has a lot to do with the whole entire crypto market. Um, so I was already kind of seeing this and I was telling my group over here at the bullish currency community from that time that I was bearish on Bitcoin. And it's literally been bearish since. The system also called a lot of confirmations, even a sell confirmation directly right, right there above this area uh, and further sell confirmations as we collapsed. Okay, and now we're in a good buy area where we could potentially see some form of reaction where it potentially pushes up at least to this area, 45K, maybe even back up to 51, 52K um, before continuing to the downside. But I also wouldn't be surprised if it just continues from where it is now, if it just literally continues to go through and break below to the next level. So let's see. I mean, you know, they've been talking about this crash for a while, and I think we're already in it. You know, they've been talking about it, saying, you know, later on in 2022, and this and that. And I, I just been saying this whole time to my group, and I said it the other day on a call. You know, before I said it in, in, in December, I said it in November, I said it in October, crash was coming. And I also said I feel like we we're already in it when it came to January, even December, I was already saying we're in it basically. Um, that's just the vibe I got. I said, that'd be pretty, that'd be a pretty, uh, I would say compared to the last crash we had, it'd be pretty interesting for them, for the market to start it right in January, right? The first month of the year, everybody's, you know, new year's resolution, happy new year, everybody's happy, the holidays and all that. What a great time to start the economic collapse. So I'm not surprised at all. You know, I was prepared. And uh, my group was prepared and we've been capitalizing on this for the longest. I think, if, you know, if this valid, if this head and shoulders remains valid and it destroys that neckline, we're going to see a drop all the way down at 33 to 32 K. Um, and then from there, we're just going to have to observe it because it would be pretty crazy. And also, but not, but also not far fetched that it could also smash through there and drop all the way back down to about 20 K. Okay. So, and that will affect a lot of other cryptos and that we're looking at. It really does affect a lot of other um, things in the crypto market in general. So we'll keep an eye on for that. I could totally see it also just respecting this level where it's at now and pushing back up. Definitely a big possibility uh, because this is a level. So we got to see what it does here. They're going to break through or not. We'll know. Basically, we'll know by next week, literally. But uh, what a nice sell we capitalized on. Uh, but that's what I got so far with Bitcoin. I think that we're in the crash already. There's a huge chance we already are in it. And it's just going to get worse. And technically, even it dropping it dropping to 42 from 67 should be considered a crash. That's why they use the word crash. So we're already in the crash, as I said. It, it's, just how, it's just a matter of how bad can it get. Can it, can it, can it get down to 20 or is it just going to drop down to 33 32 and that's it we'll see well guys until the next video stay blessed and stay bullish